How'd you do? Doing all right, I think. I really appreciate it. Yeah, when the fog rolled in, it was kind of made it kind of chilly for a minute. You know, sometimes I really feel that that uh, we know everything there is to know about sticks. When you see kids working or playing with sticks, you think, well, they're so tied back into the building tradition, uh, kind of inspirationally. You know, sticks are a piece of a house. They're they're a magic wand. They're uh, you know a drum set. And it's it's just that it seems that they're they've got all uh, so so many predispositions, and uh, then to carry that forward, we we get a chance to work with volunteers. I get the chance to work with volunteers all the time, and they always say, "Well, I, I don't know anything about sticks." And then ten minutes later, the whole place is silent, and everybody's working furiously with these sticks. And it's obviously not true that they have no. Uh, feelings for them because they you know we turn around at the end of the day and the place looks really good so I I really feel like oh overall we all have a real connection and that the stick is an imaginative object carries us both to the natural world and to our deepest past the sculpture itself is you get an overall plan in other words you kind of set up parameters for your work and then you narrow and polish those parameters like you would when you're writing or any other kind of occupation. So uh, I did set out a drawing that had uh, a basic concept. And then once I start actually trying to put the sticks in the ground or whatever I'm doing, I start truing up the concept. Initially, we outlined the shape that I was hoping for uh, on, uh, with a kind of a line on the ground and then put these big uprights um, every so many feet uh, along our shape and then set scaffolding around the outside of the of this shape and started pulling the upright sticks in various directions until we got the, the shape that we are hoping for. We're doing a kind of structural layer of sticks and they go all different directions. And as that uh, part of the uh, process ends, then we start working more on the aesthetics of the piece where, and that is in kind of using lines more like you would to draw with. And so a lot of the drawing conventions that you might uh, think about uh, with a pencil, you do those the very same things using these kind of accumulation of sticks. Are y'all doing okay? Yes, I hi. think so. I'm hi. Correct. Hey. I'm in that. Hey, y'all need bigger sticks. <laughs> this is. Oh. A, yeah, you need something a little bit bigger. And I'm tell, I'll show you a little trick. Uh, one thing is that uh, when you get to this point. Some of these things will pull through, and then some of them are, are pretty long. And so sometimes you can cut them in two pieces. Okay. I usually get a new crew each time that I, I start another work. And, and uh, you know, sometimes you might think that, uh, well, you're dealing with the uninitiated, and thereby you have this, you're going to have this big learning curve. On the other hand, it, it's a lot of fun. We're trying to work on uh, mainly on the inside of these things, okay. and so we might get you to set up inside over here okay. to work on the back side. Mm -hmm. I had the idea of maybe kind of building a, a cliff dwelling or kind of the stick city, or uh, you know, and having springing these kind of shapes in under, like building shapes, uh, kind of in under the trees themselves, with a lot of kind of beautiful green hair. <laughs> There's a piece uh, from the decor of a museum in Lincoln, Massachusetts, where I was allowed to work on their tower. I mean, the building has these enormous towers. And oftentimes, I'm allowed to work in, in such a place because, or I'll see the potential, I would say. And in that case, I was asking around, and I found out one of the grounds crew could actually operate a bucket truck. And, you know, that led me on the path of thinking, well, it would be great to uh, have a kind of coning go on in the sculpture itself and maybe even work on the roof or maybe even put a uh, kind of a cap on the on the tower itself you know so this was a this was a, a, you know a starting point for making a great work that kind of intertwined with architecture and took over the architecture
You know, I think as a sculptor, what I try to do is to make the thing look good. You know, and uh, I don't know what that means until I start kind of messing with these materials and then all of a sudden I think, you know, you know, that looks very good. And, uh, and as I've worked over the years, then I realized that, you know, we're kind of all have this hunting and gathering tradition in our, in our deepest past. And so I think that I call on all of those kind of deeper feelings to try to carry out a kind of aesthetic that I'm working on all the time. And, you know, it has to do with building surface and drawing with sticks.